Ich stehe mit Kuba Chekai, dem Regisseur von The Earl Prince. How are you today? I'm extremely glad that we have chance to share our film with audience, so I'm really happy. That's good. So can you just shortly explain to me who The Earl Prince is? Oh, it's a good question. <laughs> the Earl Prince, uh, it's a metaphor, a paraphrase uh, uh, of the Ekunish, as you really I'm for sure no. It's a it's a um, uh, Goethe's poem, but, but in our case, it's much more story about um, uh, ending some part of our lives, especially you know when we are just uh, 11 or 12 and we are growing up. And uh, basically, this uh, this film is uh, in this film. I I just wanna you know catch the moment when. Uh, um, uh, childhood is uh, ending and we, you know, just start new life, uh, maybe like a youth. I mean, The Earl Prince is a poem of Goethe. Why did you choose The Earl Prince and not something else, some poem? No, I was I was searching for some ground, for, for some base to, to also, for my story, but also for, um, for, the, for my character. Because, you know, um, we have some uh, twinkle in our, in our film. Uh, in, this, in the first uh, part, uh, the boy is with uh, his mother, and uh, and then we have some signs that uh, he's uh, awaiting someone else. Uh, so, um, because in El, El Kunish we have uh, uh, mostly about the relationship between father and and, uh, and uh, his son, and also about the death uh, and about the life, and all of these, uh, you, uh, all of these subjects uh, was really combined to me, to, to our story. So, do you have to know the Goethe's version to really understand your movie, or is that not really necessary? I think it's not, not necessary really, because it's you know it's uh, only a um, additional part. It's uh, you know it's a metaphor. It's a it's a symbol. It it isn't it isn't. Uh, it isn't um, uh, necessary, as I said, uh, to know it before the screening. Okay, so in your movie there's a kind of magical red tree. What's its meaning? Red tree? It's, you know, it's a, it's a combined for all Catholic, um, I would say, uh, things or, or places, because, you know, we have also Christ uh, in, the, um, uh, in the room. Uh, we have a lot of this uh, part of issue. Uh, put it to, to the thing, but it wasn't really uh, this tree as you, I think you thinking about uh, because uh, yeah I know of course uh, <laughs> where, uh, which, uh, which tree uh, is in the ghetto. So um, you have these really really good visual effects in your movie. How did you do that or how like was it really hard to do them or? You know, I think it's always a question of um, um, preparation to, to shooting. So we you know, spent uh, a lot of time um, with graphics, uh, with people from um, FX uh, to talk, to, you know, to drawing, to, uh, to preparing this, um, this scene. Uh, sometimes, you know, we uh, draw storyboards. Uh, uh, we have a lot of, uh, you know, uh, um, versions about this, uh, a lot of references just be before the the, um, the shooting before the this uh, the effects so yeah it was uh, I think we spent uh, spent a lot of time together to, to you know to find the, the good way uh, for the Alpines yeah, and the Alpines is like full of emotions and feelings could you name like a couple things how you picturize them in your movies I've, you know I think on the same line we have love uh, hate Jealous, uh, missing, lost. Yeah, that's really good. Um, you're a movie maker, so what is your favorite moment during like production or just the whole process? What's your favorite moment? No, it's a very important question because um, a few years ago when I you know, made only my shorts film, the best, uh, the best um, time uh, was uh, post-production. But then uh, the, mo the much more the, the, the exciting moment is uh, preparation. 
uh, per production because you uh, spend a lot of time with, with your people, with actors, and in this moment everything is possible. You know, just you just take some I don't know, take a car and, and go through uh, to the some uh, mystery island. Then of course we. As, as, as usual, when we are just making films, we have a lot of problems. We have some, you know, uh, we, we should um, deal with our budget, so it's complicated. But in the, on the first, on the some, on the first, uh, and on the beginning, it's a, it's a wonderful trip. Uh, yes, yeah, so I'm really nice, adore uh, this period of time. So I guess you're doing your job for quite a while now. So are you still enjoying work? Um, yeah, you know, I'm really, I would say, hungry uh, to make n another uh, new films. Now I, uh, you know, developing two new projects, uh, but they are, you know, on the very early stage. So we will see uh, when I have a uh, chance, you know, to shoot it or to, to, to start production. Um, but uh, I, you know, it's uh, I love uh, making films. Uh, it's a wonderful. Uh, it's 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 you know it's maybe it's it is very simple what I'm trying to say now, but it's uh, much more really than uh, you know just just job. It's uh, it's a way of uh, living.